So like, as far as I, one of the things I, I, I I've noticed in talking to a lot of bands over the last couple weeks and months and whatever is it's such a grind. I feel like that people don't understand. It's like, talk about, I mean, I guess over the years, like how, how do you, how you've kept it going and stuff like you guys have, it looks like you put an album out every couple of years since you know, yeah. for like 20 uh, years. Well, the fans want a new record normally. So, uh, you know, we keep, the music going as much as we can. And uh, if, if we feel like we have something strong, we drop it. And now that we're independent, we can be a little bit more nimble. Um, we can be a little riskier with the, you know, what we're doing with, as far as our themes, um, with the way that we like to release, with the way that we want to present our music. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're moving with the times. It's interesting. What are some, like, to your mind, like, do you guys, do you guys, how do you bring in new fans now? What do you think is the best, you know, method for that? Cause I know like back in the early days, it was like, you could go to like a show like Headbangers Ball or something and find a band like Nonpoint. But like, what do you think is the best, I guess, you know, uh, well, draw for new, new fans? Discovery is, I mean, right now you're, you're talking to channels, really it's advertisement or, you know, music discovery online through the socials and social platforms, streaming platforms. Um, and it's really a, a lot of just general playlisting inside of the algorithm. So, um, you know, algorithms now are so set up to, to draw in music that hits certain things in the language. However, it's translating music inside of the algorithm. It's really picking up on that kind of stuff. And at least categorizing it properly so that way people can find it easier. But I feel like playlisting, uh, streaming and, you know, pushing advertising dollars. So if you're if you have a team that has a budget that's pushing, you know, your song, it's it's going to get heard. If you have um, fans that are discovering it and sharing it, it's going to get heard. So there's there's lots of paths. Um it's it's just changing with with the times really you know before yeah. it was the only way that you could do it was uh whatever whatever the gatekeepers were of that time which is you know radio consultants and radio and you know budgets and those kind of things labels and all the things that you're 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 kind of up against do you guys like do you do you enjoy um the process more now that you're independent or do you kind of miss the, having that you know label hand in the mix at all um, you know, we've, we've been on a lot of labels and it's just, it's a different model. You know, uh, they work at a different pace and they have a certain risk to reward formula that they like to play with. That's kind of steadfast inside of their infrastructure because it has to, um, it, it, they have to be able to look back at their shareholders and the, their team and go, Hey, for this dollar spent, how, how did it fare for us? And then, you know, based on that, they have to adjust. So through that comes a lot of, uh, a lot of administration. Sorry, somebody keeps uh, trying to call me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it's okay, man. So, uh, but, uh, hang on for a second. Can you find a version and let them know that the posters are here by outside by the gate? Uh, so, you know, what we try to do is try to balance ourselves with um, what we're willing to risk, what we have as far as a budget and, um, you know, all of our relationships over the last 20 plus years, you know, and that that's how we're able to uh, uh, do what we do as long as we have. 